Right then. Sorry for a bit of an absence from YouTube. I've been busy with work, but uh, for everyone who's been watching me for a while knows this vehicle. It's my 2004 Land Rover Defender with the very road legal um, radiator muff, making sure no one can tell it's got no MOT on it. Well, I take it up, a, up this definitely private road. But as the title of the video pointed out, this thing is getting replaced. Well, I've already replaced it. And a lot of people have been giving me a lot of stick over on the old Instagram. Why have you bought another pickup? Why are you getting rid of your Defender? You can't do that. Your whole channel started, TikTok and all that crap, started because of Land Rovers. It did. But this thing just isn't really capable of doing the day job anymore. The chassis started going. Um, I put more patches on the bulkhead than I have my old push bikes in the tubes. She's getting a bit tired. But when I say replacing, that doesn't mean I'm getting rid. What it actually means is I'm taking this thing off the road for a full nut and bolt restoration. Down to the chassis, which a, uh, a company have got in touch with me and they're kindly supplying a new chassis and bulkhead for it. I'm gonna send all the panels off, strip it the panels down individually, send them all off to be painted. And yeah, everything is getting renewed on it. Like, Joe's managed to find me a nice low mileage engine, so that's going in. And she's just generally getting a complete revamp. I'll put complete new wiring looms in. I want it to be a brand new car, effectively, when I've done with it. I love the look of it. Um, I'm still undecided on a colour. It'll probably still be green, but a different sort of green. But yeah, what to replace it with? Because my problem is, this is like my, if I'm going down a quarry to do a job or on a farm, can't get the van in. You can chuck tools in the back of this. It's got the winch. You can pretty much get anywhere. Um, so what am I going to replace it with? Because ideally, if I'm taking this off the road, I'm going to get rid of the Range Rover as well. Because the Range Rover is just a financial liability at this point. The thing, every time I fix something on that fucking thing, something else breaks and it costs me a fortune. So ideally, I want to replace the lot of them. So yeah, I've started out looking for a vehicle that could replace both the Range Rover and the Defender, with the idea being that when the Defender goes back on the road, whatever I've chosen as a replacement will be the long-term replacement for the Range Rover, because I hate buying and selling vehicles these days. It's an absolute pain in the arse. So I started looking for the nicest spec pickup I could find, which ended up being a Volkswagen Amarok. So I bought this VW Amarok, paid quite a lot of money for it. Uh, 14 plate, top spec, absolutely loved it. Nicest pickup I've ever driven. So buys it, picks it up, paid for it before I even saw it, which might have been a mistake. Uh, drove straight up to work, up to Penrith, got there, did one day on site, and the stupid bloody Volkswagen piece of crap started using more water than diesel. So that went back to the dealer, they reckon they couldn't fix it, which is funny because they've got it up for sale again now. So if you're looking for a Volkswagen Amarok, don't buy a white one from a certain car dealer based in Worksop, because the thing's shagged as far as I'm concerned. It's a lot of water fruit engine. Anyway, I'll shove a picture of that in here and then if you see it online anywhere, you know to avoid the piece of crap. So that went back and at this point I've lost my rag. Can't be arsed looking for oh, I've had enough. I've, I've even attempted to go and buy brand new just because I, I was sick of looking for stuff. So at that time, my dad's business partner, he's got a car dealership, rang me up, he's got some Ford Rangers in stock. Um, I've never been a massive Ford Ranger fan. Even worse, these were manuals, so really weren't a fan. But like I said, I'd lost my rag, so told him I'd have one, sent him the money, and it got dropped off a few days after that. And I'll be honest, didn't want it. My whole idea of buying it is it'll do until something else comes along and I can buy some I actually like. So without further ado, here's the new, uh, new truck. So it's a 2018 2.2 litre Ford Ranger Limited. Um, I think it's the 160 horsepower one. At least I hope it is. Um, as it goes, really good order. It's X Fleet, so it's done some work, but it's been looked after, hopefully. Uh, service history, all that sort of crap's come with it. Um, I believe it can tow three and a half tonne. I did look it up online. Um, and I saw enough to convince myself, so hopefully that's enough to convince any coppers that I run into contact with. I don't know how fun it'll be to tow three and a half tonne with, but legally it'll do it, so that'll do for me. 
I won't be doing it that often. It's limited, so top spec supposedly. Forgive the interior, I've just come off a major road trip. But we've got Ford's finest leather, direct from China. Apple CarPlay, which is nice. Manual. Blech. If it was auto, I'd probably like it a lot more. Automatic headlights, all the all the toys, cruise control, all that jazz. Now, like I say, I didn't really want a Ford Ranger, but now I've got it, it is growing on me. When you start looking at the modern pickups, they all seem to be a bit chocolate. So everyone slates these for the engines blowing up. Apparently the 3.2s in the wild track, which is what I would have gone for originally, are even worse, which put me off them. The new Hiluxes, the 2.4s, are absolutely gutless. Um, and the big ones are out of my price range without sort of financing it, and I don't like finance. Um, the Nissans, I've welded that many of the older shape together, it put me off the new ones. But I probably would have had one of them if I could have found one before I lost my rag. Like I said, this just came up and it was the right money and it was easy. I just paid for it and it got dropped off. I didn't have to go looking at it. And because he's my dad's mate, hopefully he won't rip me off or won't have. Um, but yeah, um, it's got the roll and lock cover, which is my sort of favourite for a pickup. And you can put some tools in there and they're relatively secure, but you can also open it up and still use it to transport a pallet or stuff. Cosmetically, it's not the best. Scratches and a few dints and stuff, but those who know me know that I use a work vehicle as a work vehicle. So I look after them mechanically. Cosmetically, I couldn't give a shit. Um, probably going to add a roll bar to it just to put some lights on. But other than that, I don't plan on doing a lot to it. I probably will de-chrome it, just because it looks very fucking American at the minute. And it's just not really my style. So, if you follow this channel, I will, uh, if people are interested, I'll put some videos up of how I change the few bits I want to change. So, probably de-chrome it. I've got some bigger wheels and tyres to go on, some knobbly tyres, just because it'll get stuck on a flat fucking fart at the minute. So, they need to go. I think they are somewhat decent. I don't know. But those alloys look like bloody cookie cutters, so they're going in bin. Scrapmen can have them. And yeah, probably a roll bar there, like I said, so I can put some reversing lights on it. But yeah, let me know what you think. Have I made a colossal mistake? Or do you think this thing will stick around? Like I said, the long term plan is to just have this for a year or so while I get the Defender done. And then I'll decide what I'm going to replace. Because obviously the Range Rover needs to go, it's reached it, that point in its life. But I can't be asked selling it to the sort of people that buy three grand Range Rovers, so it's going under a tank, I think. If you want me to run it over your tank, blow the crap out of this video and I will. Um, but yeah, I think it'll probably end up being a nice new Land Cruiser or something to replace that. But for now, this'll do. It's not an uncomfy place to be. Like pickups, I've got to admit, have come a long way in the last five or six years. I used to have a Hilux, 2007 Hilux, D4D, 3 litre Invincible. This thing, 100 times comfier. A lot nicer to drive, a lot more civilised. The Hilux, if I'd, I've done five, six hours driving today. If I'd done that in the Hilux, I'd be crippled now. Where in this, I'm quite happy to get back in it and go to the pub. Get me dinner. It's... It's not a bad thing at all. Like I say, it'll do. But if you want me to put a few more videos up on how I just adapt it for what I'm going to do. Like I say, I'm going to de-chrome, got the bigger wheels and tyres to go on. Probably going to get some sort of bed rack to put my roof tent on, so I don't have to have a roof rack. Um, I want a draw system for it. So if you do know anyone who does a good draw system for these, tag them down below or send me an email or comment on their socials that I'm looking. I want something decent that I can put tools in. And yeah, what do you think? Have I cocked up? And uh, yeah, the Defender videos will start soon. I need to go and pick the chassis and bulkhead up, send them off a paint. I need to decide on a colour that I'm going to paint it. So that's the biggest decision I'm having at the minute is I cannot decide what colour I'm going to paint the Defender. Um, I, I change my mind every time I start looking at it. Oops, sorry about that. So I... Been looking at sort of Aston Martin British Racing Green, um, like ruby reds, like I am quite set. I'd, 
I want it to look like a manufacturer special edition, if that makes sense. So I want it to be ideally off the Land Rover colour palette. So it looks like something Land Rover would have made. Uh, basically, I want it to be, if I go shooting or something, I want it to still look classy. Like the ones where they paint some pastel colours and bright colours, they look brilliant. It's not my style. I like it a bit uh, a bit more classy, a bit more original. OEM plus sort of thing. So yeah, any ideas for colours, drop them down in the comments. Ideas of things I can do to this Ranger to make it a bit more comfortable and a bit less American. Let me know as well. But for now, oh, other news. Got a new service van as well as new truck. Um, so I'll do, if people want to see it, I'll do a van tour on that. Show you how I've set it up and the toolbox and everything. Quite a few people have been getting on at me to do another toolbox tour since I've spent a lot of money since I last did one. So yeah, I'll try and get that out for you either later this week or next week. I'm going to make a real effort to get on with the videos again. I know I'm terrible at uploading. Um, Joe's going to drag me down there and we'll do some more tanky things. And uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, oh yeah, there's another tank project coming as well. That's for me, personally. It's going to live here, up in Derbyshire, so we can do some stupid tank things uh, around the valley. So yeah, keep watching, more to come, big summer planned full of activities, all the shows we're attending. I will, I'll have a proper talk with Joe next weekend and we'll both put out in his videos exactly which shows we're planning to be at and what we're planning on taking, though obviously that's subject to change, because stuff breaks and Joe sells everything. But for now, have a good weekend, hope you all had a all been looking after yourselves while I've been away. I'll see thee.